Hola! We're going to continue learning about numbers now. You've already learned 0 through 30. You've either watched the video or you've been taught 0 through 30 live in class. As soon as you've done that, make sure that you've completed your cuenta and puzzle, which you can find on your Google Classroom. Now, one of the common things you use numbers for is to do math problems. So let's review quickly together how to say plus, minus, divided by, etc. Say with me, e and mas. Both of those are plus. So if you're saying 2 plus 2, you can either say 2 y 2, or you can say 2 más 2. Más is a little bit more formal than just e. When you're subtracting and you want to say minus, you say menos. Repitan, menos. Muy bien. When you want to say multiplied por, you just say por. You say 2 times 2, for example, you would say 2 por 2. Divided by is dividido por. Try with me, dividido por. So 2 divided by 2, 2 dividido por 2, son etc. And then equals, you have two options for. You can either say son or you can say es igual a. So you could say dos más dos son cuatro or you could say uno menos cero es igual a uno. So either of those are equally correct to use son or es igual a. I have some example math problems down there at the bottom. 4 times 12 equals 48. Say it with me in Spanish is, hit it. 4 por 12 son 48. And then 128 divided by 8 equals 16. Say it with me, please. Here we go. 128 dividido por 8 son 16. Muy bien. Pause this video and copy down those arithmetic expressions, please. You can copy them on your white numbers notes that you received in your red folder. Now that you've copied your plus, minus, divided by, etc. notes, let's continue reviewing. We've got 0 through 100. So let's say them together. Here we go. Hit it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop. Remember, it's 16 is when you have a 10s and a 1s column. That's when you do 10 and 6, and there's two ways to do it, remember. You can do it as three separate words, diez y seis, or you can squish them together and make it diez y seis, where the Z becomes C, the Y, which means and, becomes I, and you attach your second number, seis, diez y seis. Do you remember when you need an accent when you make it all one word? It's when the number you attach has a one syllable. So diez y seis, C, needs an accent mark. Diez y siete, if it's all one word, does not. All right, make sure you're looking at the numbers and saying them with me. Starting with 16 through 100, hit it. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Muy bien. Now, <clears throat> when we need an and, if you look in blue in your notes, that's my dog smush, by the way. If you look in blue at the very top in your notes on this folder, You'll see that it says you need an E, which means an, between the tens column and the ones column. So between the numbers 16 through 99, I would write that in my white numbers notes that you got in your red folder. You need an and E between a tens and a ones column. So when you say 16, you're saying 10 and 6. When you say 23, you're saying 20 and 3. So 33 would be what? Say it out loud. 33. Good. 45 would be what? Say it out loud. 45. Good. 53 would be what? Say it out loud. 53. Good. Now I want you to notice, just like we talked about when you have 21 years or 21 girls or 101 boys, the uno can drop the o in front of a masculine noun. You say 21 chicos, 101 chicos. And when it's a feminine noun like chicas, the uno becomes an A because it's a feminine noun. So 21 girls is 21 chicas. 101 girls is 101 chicas. Now with 100, when you say 101, it's not 101. It's just 101. There's no and because you don't have a tens and a ones column. So if you say 115, it's just 115. You don't need the and. It's not 115. That's wrong because you don't have a tens and a ones column. Once you say 116, now you're saying 110 and 6. 
then you do need the and, 116. And there's two ways to write that, either 116 or 116 on one word. So 101 would be 101, 102, 102, 110, 110. Now if you look at the screen, 200 through 900 have something in common. They're all plural. So in English we say 200 doggies. In Spanish we say 200s doggies. It's an adjective describing a noun so your number is going to agree. So 200 through 900 are always plural. So if it's a masculine noun, 200 chicos. If it's a feminine noun, 200 chicas. So let's look at these and say them with me. 200 is 200. Repeat that. 200. Good. 300, 300. Repeat that. 300. 400, 400. Repeat that. 500 is weird and you should start this in your notes. 500 is not 500. It's 500. Look at that and say it three times with me. Ready? 500, 500, 500. Good, that's spelled Q U A N I N T O S. Good, 600 is just a normal number. Say cientos. Say with me, say cientos. Good, 700, I would start in your white notes. It's a weird one, it's setecientos. Say with me, setecientos. Good, 800 is a normal one, 800. And the next one you need to underline is 900. It's not nueve, it's 900. I want to say that, 900. Good. So let's do 200 through 900 together. Ready? Here we go. 200, 300, 400, 500. That's a weird one, remember? Good. Keep going. 600, 700, 800, 900. Muy bien. Now when you get to 1,000, it's just 1,000. If I say 1,000, it is not un mil. Never put an un in front of mil. 1,000 is just mil. What would 2,000 be? Dos mil. Good. 7,000? Siete mil. Good. 100,000 is cien mil. One million is un millón. Notice the accent on the O in millón. And there's a day after that. Day means of or from in Spanish. If I say a million dollars, in English I just say a million dollars. But in Spanish, I'm saying a million of dollars. So I say un millón de dólares. So star that and make a note of that if you need to pause your video. When you say a million of anything, you don't hear the word of in English, but you sure do need it in Spanish. So a million doggies, un millón de perros. Now notice what happens to mío when you make it plural. You add es to make it plural because it ends in a consonant. And you drop off the accent. So two million doggies, dos, million, dos millones de perros. Alrighty. So let's talk about what you would do if you were trying to give the year. If you're saying 1992. 1992 is really 1,992. So let's do that together. 1,000, mil, good. 900, 992. So 1992 is 1,992. Now, I want you to notice something about Spanish numbers. Decimal points and commas are flipped. So where we use commas, they use decimal points and vice versa. That's why when you look at un millón or dos millones, they've got the, the periods, the decimal points, instead of the commas. Now you're going to go to your Google Classroom and find your assignments labeled September 10th, Las Tareas. Okay. In Google Classroom, you're going to find this. It'll either say las actividades para el 10 o las actividades para el 11. So depending on whether I have you Thursday or Friday in class, you'll find this in your Google Classroom, and it will be what you need to complete before our next class, when I see you either next Monday or next Tuesday, depending on which day I have you. So it'll say watch Senora Haney's video, that's this one, and take notes, add them to your numbers notes. So you might have already been taught this live in class, in which case you don't need to do this. And these are notes. Notice I have highlighted up there. Those are your notes. So you'll have those, but remember you have them on paper in the white packet in your folder. You'll go to your Google Classroom and complete the Ad Puzzle for the numbers up through 10,000. And that's, I think, a three minute video to practice the numbers we just learned. Then on paper, notice I have it highlighted, you'll write out these numbers in Spanish. Use your notes so you spell everything correctly, please. 
And then if you have not already copied these, y más, menos, por, etc. If you haven't already copied these notes, do that. If you've already done that, you're good to go. And then on paper, write these math problems in Spanish. You're writing out the numeric, the actual words in Spanish for the numbers. And that is it until I see you next. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.